question we sometimes receive is how can I create a custom connection panel and then use it in a rack layout drawing? With this movie, we'll show a simple technique to make this possible. First of all, take your custom connection panel, select it, right click and choose Create User Defined Product from Selection. This brings up the UDP wizard and here we can input some product information like manufacturer, model number and description. This creates a symbol from my panel layout and you'll notice that because the panel is created in a panel layout drawing it's a panel layout symbol. What we actually want to do is add a rack layout symbol. So we'll bring up the next page of the UDP wizard and say that well this product is going to be 19 inches across a low depth 30 millimeters and the panel is 4U high. I can then finish to create my UDP. It's now listed in the product browser. Right click and choose edit symbols. So this brings up the symbol editor which you can identify because of the grey background and in the symbol editor we have a tab for each symbol that represents this user-defined product. You can see that there is a panel layout symbol and there is an outline for the rack layout symbol. So all we need to do, go to the panel layout view, let's turn off clearances, we're not going to use those in a rack layout drawing. Select all of this and copy. We can then go to the rack layout symbol, right click and choose paste to current layer. This puts the graphics of the panel onto the current layer which is front high detail. Now we just need to move it to the right place respecting the insertion point which is represented by this cross. So the easiest way to do this is to group the graphics that I've just placed, move the panel pretty close with snapping to the grid and then lock it to the right point by choosing align to grid lefts and arrange align to grid bottoms. This now puts the panel exactly in the right place in the front view. But I actually want this panel to be rear mounted in my rack. So let's remove this, change the view in the symbol editor to rear view and perform the same process. Paste to current layer. This then puts all of the symbol graphics onto the current layer which is rear high detail and I can move the panel again to be in the right place. In rear view the insertion point here is on the right because the world is flipped over and the panel is in just the right spot. One other thing just to tidy this drawing up is to take the label that was created by the UDP wizard and let's move this to a different layer. So we'll actually put this onto the rear low detail layer which is hidden by default. Now we can save this symbol close the symbol editor, go to a rack layout drawing, let's go to the rear view of this rack and now I can choose my Acme Electronics FP101 and drop it into a space in my rack. And that is how you can create a custom connection panel and then use it in the rear of a rack layout drawing. Thank you for watching.